Today, we're going to talk about OMAD and the best fasting schedules for weight loss. I'm going to emphasize two schedules. One schedule that gives you a little bit more time to eat and another schedule that will guarantee you fat loss. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Yellow Joy and I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating in a one meal a day fasting schedule, which is just a form of time restricted eating. All I'm doing is cramming my food within a four hour eating window. The reason why I do this is to take advantage of the metabolic effects that one meal a day has through the 20 hour fasting window. Why am I taking advantage of these metabolic effects? Because I have very resistant weight loss. I got up to my highest weight of 282 pounds and I struggle with metabolic disease at the time. And I feel like it's still lingering because it's still really hard for me to lose weight, which is why I'm back on OMAD. Um, I had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. I had inflammation in my pancreas. I had asthma. I had constant acid reflux and thyroid issues. I had a lot of sign of metabolic illness. So there's a reason why diets like keto work well for me and diets like, you know, or style of eating like one meal a day work well for me because I really am just sensitive to all the crap food that's out there. I just struggle with it. That's why if I got to lose weight, I got to be strict. And once I get the weight off, I can go back to eating these unstrict foods. So eating refined carbohydrates in a way that I blanken them with my fiber, of course, but my weight will just stay the same. But when it comes to weight loss and bringing my set point weight down, I need to go clean. And that's what I'm getting back to. And that's why you're not going to see blueberries and burgers anymore, or burgers and berries. It's just going to be clean, clean, clean. That's how I was able to shred this fat. And there's a reason why. I talk about all of this on my channel, on my podcast, The Metabolic Flex or The Metaflex and so forth. Anyway, let's get into the topic topic of today. Best fasting schedule for weight loss with OMAD. Okay. So based on my experience, I think the best fasting schedule for weight loss is eating within a half an hour to an hour eating window. So fasting for 22, 23 hours a day. Now, the best schedule for consistency and being able to implement this long term is fasting for 20 hours a day and eating in a four hour eating window. So I think mixing the two is the best. But if you really want to harness on weight loss, go consistent with eating within an hour eating window and make sure you are eating foods that are whole and clean, clean foods. Just make sure you're eating a lot of it. Now, if you are struggling with getting in enough food in that one hour eating window, the two hour eating window is very effective as well. And I did say I like this as my personal favorite one because the two hour eating window, you are going to be fasting for at least 22 hours. And you are also going to have a two hour eating window where you can cram in or cram in or intake a little bit more food. So you're able to space out your meals a little while. Now, if you're struggling to get enough protein on your one meal a day diet, you got to look at the food that you're eating. You got to look at what you're eating. It's not hard to get enough protein. And let me give you some tips on how to get enough protein with one meal a day. Number one, you can throw in a protein shake, but let's go with whole foods, egg whites, high protein foods, egg whites, chicken breast, high protein food right there. Eggs themselves is a great way to get it in because you're eating the fat. I know I can down a bunch of eggs easily. Just boiled eggs, you can do that. Another way to get in protein, tuna. Do you know how much protein is in a can of tuna? Just get a can of tuna, maybe two cans of tuna, whip it in with some fat. I like mayo, not everyone likes mayo, but whip it in with some mayo or whatever fat of your choice. Get in the protein with tuna. Another way to get in tons of protein, white fish. So there are ways you can do this. You just have to look at your food choices. If you're struggling with getting in a certain macronutrient, the only two macronutrients that really matter when it comes to weight loss is protein and fat. Fat because it keeps your insulin levels down. It keeps you full longer. And protein has a high thermogenic effect of food. So it takes more of your body's energy to process the protein than it does in the protein. So if you know what I'm saying... So it takes more energy to digest protein than 
protein has. So it takes more calories to digest protein than the calories in the protein. So those are the only two macronutrients that really matter. Carbs, again, if you're doing one meal a day, you can do keto OMAD. That's how I did it. I might have to come to the point where I will do keto OMAD, but for now I'm just getting out all of the processed carbs and I'm avoiding nightshade vegetables. So nightshade vegetables are things like potatoes, but not sweet potatoes. So potatoes, eggplant. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I need to shrink my belly fat and I'm having an inflammatory response to something that I'm eating. So if you are struggling with belly fat, that's another thing to do. You like the way to get that waist down is to go clean as possible, is to go clean, is to know what foods are triggering your system. So there's that. To summarize, best OMAD schedule for weight loss. If you want to guarantee weight loss, you can do the 23-1 eating within a hour eating window or just do one plate a day. One plate a day. How long does it take you to eat a plate of food? Depending on how big the plate of food is, it should be a standard dinner size plate. One plate a day. Just use do that method. A method that will get you close enough to result, but still give you a little bit more leeway to eat is fasting for 22 hours a day and eating within a two hour eating window. That's a pretty good one as well. And 24 or more OMAD fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window is effective if you do not have problems with overeating. Some people can really screw up the 24 or more method. They'll eat way too much in a four hour eating window. And if you're that person, then I suggest you count your macros and count your calories Probably calories is probably the easiest thing to do. Just make sure you are aware of how much you're eating. Because at the end of the day, if you overeat and you overeat the wrong foods, you'll put yourself in a situation. So what are the wrong foods? Processed carbs. That's usually the wrong foods. Vegetable oils, seed oils, canola oils, all that stuff. Grape seed oil. Wrong foods. Now, Foods that you can eat unlimited on one meal a day, let's just think of it that way, are things like meats, poultry, all green vegetables, eggs, cheese, and fruits, except grapes and bananas. So you can't go wrong with those ones. You literally can't go wrong. Notice how nuts were on there. Anyway, I hope this video was useful for you and helpful. I'm excited to get back on OMAD. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did before and do it for too long. I'm just going to do it for a bit and see how it rolls because I am just trying to get things back on track. They have been, but it's been the muscle building I've been doing that's been making things a little tricky. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just type in or drop in some muscle. You can't see anything because I'm wearing that, but muscle emojis. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.